and <laughs> we've been hip on board. Quite a, quite a now I haven't tried that. I haven't tried it yet, but yeah. Well, mo- a lot of pharmaceuticals. Now think about this. Okay, what is the main issue that people are dealing with right now? Blood clotting, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is the, what is the mainstream medicine use to control blood clotting? Blood thinners. Urokinase. Urokinase. If you look it up on drugs.com, urokinase, it's a, it literally says this on drugs.com, a clot busting drug. Mm-hmm. Clot busting. Guess what your urine, the main, comp, one of the main components in your urine is? Urokinase. Interesting. So they take it from urine. Mo- a lot of pharmaceuticals, there's more research done on urine than any other compound ever. Wow. Done. Wow. As a matter of fact, the American Medical Association in 1954 came out and said that statement. Wow. So they've known about it. They use a lot of the components in from human urine and hor- horse urine is where they get all their hormone therapy from. Mm-hmm. Every single person has lived on their own urine and breathed their own urine in because when you're in the womb for nine months, all you're doing is drinking your own urine. It's just you're breathing it in and it's recycling and recycling. So every person has drank their own urine before. And there's a massive amount. I even I have so much research on it that I actually had to create a website called urotherapyresearch.com because I wanted everybody to have the research. I didn't want to just have it myself and say, look, I'm putting all this up on a website for free so you know that you have everything that you need already to save your life for free. As a matter of fact, now, Dr. Artis, I don't know if you guys have seen the latest news about the snake venom and how the, they're identifying in the, uh, there's actual snake venom. There's snake venom in there and polypeptides of snake venom from the cobra as well as another uh, snake as well. Wow. And they're even now thinking that that was actually put in the water supplies of, of, in cities all over the different areas. On their website is testing the water supplies. It's a really weird thing they have on their website talking about testing the water supplies for COVID. So mm, right. Dr. Brian Artis has been coming out and revealing a lot of that information. And now they're even finding these weird little snake venom crystals in um, and the sh- as well as uh, these organisms that are coding the DNA to actually produce venoms. So think about this. It's, it's been widely known in South America and throughout India, especially from the tribesmen and the people that go into the jungles all the time, where they get bit by poisonous snakes, right? There's no hospitals or emergency rooms or it's snake venoms it. over there. They pee on it, and within 15 seconds of the time that they get bit, the body develops an antivenom. And so they drink their own urine, and that's the antivenom, and they survive. Wow. So think about what's happening now, you being injected, which is a slow death or a kind of a slow death, versus getting injected by a black mamba with a poison, because it's all poison, right? Where you die in an hour or two. Think about how powerful that antidote is if it can save you from, from that kind of a poison and neutralize that poison within an hour or two and save your life. Think about what it can do for all the other poisons. In nature, anything that injects you is poisonous, whether it's a bee, you can, know, you can die from anaphylactic shock, whether it's a snake, a spider, you know, it doesn't matter. A jellyfish, what do you do for a jellyfish sting? You pee on it. So what I, you know, it was, it was definitely, you know, people were saying when I was talking to all these doctors, it's like, you're going to be the one that's coming out with this worldwide. I mean, what do you think? What's your reputation? What's going to happen to your reputation? I was like, I don't care because think another weapon they use is fear and fear drops your immune system by 50 to 60% instantaneously. So think about if you knew that you had a golden nectar of solution and medicine that would counteract any poison that you're exposed to and repair every bit of damage that could be done within your system? Would you stay in in living in fear at that point? If you had a magic potion that you knew could save you from anything, don't you think that would take away a lot of your fear? Mm Mm-hmm. 
So I said, I'm just going to risk my reputation. I've already been written up multiple times, Times, Wall Street Journal, Daily Beast. I mean, they're bashing me everywhere online right now because we're coming out with this information. And medical doctors are reviewing all this information. They're saying, I can't, there's nothing I can find that's contraindicative of this. Because there's been so many doctors and so much research and Harvard, uh, Harvard Medical School did studies on it in the 50s. I mean, there's so much, there's undeniable evidence 